Work is underway to restore one of Sydney's biggest pieces of infrastructure which you've probably never seen. Buried far beneath us, the 90-year-old northern sewer is crumbling to pieces. Seven News was given exclusive access to the operation to restore it. Wasting away, pushing hundreds of metres into this deep tunnel, you can see where chunks have fallen from the roof. 25 kilometres of the deep tunnel that needs to be rehabilitated. We've hit the th first three sections which are very bad condition. The Northern Suburbs Ocean Outfall System, or Noose, is an engineering marvel built in the 1920s. Reaching depths of up to 90 metres, labour has carved out this gigantic tunnel which remains vital for over one million Sydney siders. If you tip a football field on its end, that's how far deep it down is in the landscape. And yeah, really, people just take it for granted. Nearly four metres high in some places, this concrete tunnel snakes its way from Blacktown through Parramatta to Rydalmere, Hunters Hill, North Sydney, Mossman and Manly. Every 300 metres to 500 metres, there's an access shaft, some as high as a 12-storey building. Now, once you get down here, the average water flow is between a metre and a metre and a half. And that's enough to fill 320 Olympic-sized swimming pools every day. Workers use pontoons to reach the deepest parts, where they painstakingly remove tons of silt. They also manually strip back the crumbling surface before replacing and sealing it. And what we're doing is ensuring that we're going to have at least another 100 years of great service for the servicing the Sydney population. At three metres a day, it will take 15 years to complete. It is an essential service and to, the cost to build another one would be horrendous. Best to keep this one in mind if out of sight. Brian Seymour, 7 News.